Katie Brown. And I'm Naomi Kenroom. I'm Diane Overby, and we are doing the Kurzweil 3000 system. It is a system that scans documents into a computer and reads them out loud to the user. Just about anyone can use this system. Um, anyone with ESL learners or ELL learners, people with reading disabilities, students with reading disabilities, um, students with visual impairments, and also students that wish to hear their writing out loud to them to find mistakes and such. They can scan it into the computer and it'll read their writing back to them. Um, the requirements for this computer aren't very much. Any laptop or PC is compatible with um, Microsoft Windows or Office and Mac computers also. Um, you need a scanner to go with it to scan in the documents. However, there are all textbooks available online now for upload or download um, and you can scan a 200 page textbook into the computer without actually having to scan each individual page. Um, they also are coming out with a USB stick that you can plug into any computer with the Kurzweil program on it. Um, I just want to mention um, the cost. The soft, as um, Diane just mentioned, the, um, the cost for the software is 1100 to 2700 while the USB um, is 1100 ranging from 1100 to 1500. Um, and simply to scan a document in here, um, you just place, the, place any text, um, book, or whatever, and you go up and you hit the scan button. It's pretty simple. Um, it's very easy to use. Um, you go ahead and scan the document. As um, then, um, uh, in 2004, um, a standard was set that all materials, um, publications, are required to be put in a digital format. So now you no longer have to scan 50 pages. It's simply, for teachers, easy to download. Um, and you simply have to open it. So, and there you go. Um, so once you have the document scanned into the program, um, all you'll do is just pull it up and let's see here. And you can um, just highlight wherever you want to start. Just put the cursor wherever you want to start and simply hit the read button. And then it'll start reading for you. It's on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, let me get this on. So you guys can hear it. <laughs> oh, whoops, there we go. Okay. So, okay, so then when you want to stop reading, you just hit the pause button. Um, so that's just reading in whatever format is set, set up. You can um, change the voice of whoever's reading to you. Right now we have it in the VW Kate. Um, you can also change it to this Microsoft Sam and then start playing it. And it's a little more robotic than the other one, but whichever one the child prefers. Um, you can also change the language. Um, this software has um, the ability to read a foreign language. Uh, we obviously just have a text in English in here, but you can go into um, read and then go into language and change it into you know French or Spanish and it'll read that uh, for you. Um, you can also set the pace at what you would like to um, how it how it should read the text so if we start here and you want it on continuous it'll just keep on reading the text um, until you hit the pause button uh, or you could do it um, self-paced and do like a word by word or a sentence by sentence where you would actually just hit the mouse every time you wanted it to continue on. Um, so that would just be a preference um, of the child. Um, you can also adjust the words per minute would just be you know how fast it's reading and that selections right here. So if you know if before if it was a little slow you can bump it up a little bit um, James was and then it reads a little quicker for you. Name. Okay. <laughs> um, when, when scanning in a um, like multi multiple pages, um, you can simply go to the arrows right up the top to um, change the pages. Um, also, a neat um, feature that um, Kurzweil offers is you can highlight a word and find the definition. Um, so you just um, and you're able to find the definition at the top. If you highlight the word, you hit definition and give you the definition, the synonym. 
syllable or even spell out the word um, letter by letter for the students. Um, so I have highlighted some passages in this text that I think would probably be good to use for an English test or quiz. Um, and once you do the highlighting, you can go to File and Extract Annotations, and you pick which highlighted things you want to appear in a separate box. And then that box will appear. It's very large right now. Um, but that box will appear, and you can click Read, I, 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 and it'll read I, 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 all the important really things that you've I, already highlighted so that the student can get, like, the main points of the article quick from, like, what the teacher has highlighted. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> um, one other feature um, teachers use um, for this is to make text, tests and um, other just very useful things with that. Um, and this would be Kurzweil 3000. Thank you. Thank you for your time. We enjoyed this presentation and hope you are more informed about the Kurzweil 3000.